We are gonna go over a few steps on how to start up the CNC. This is gonna be a multi-part video, but we're gonna take it from startup, initial startup, to importing a file and getting it ready to cut on the CNC. Uh, right now, the CNC is um, all powered down. Everything is off, computer's off, uh, just like at the start of the day. We're gonna start off by uh, turning the master power switch on here. We turn it on. And then we're gonna walk over to the uh, air control valve. Uh, we're gonna press it down and slowly turn it on. Don't jam it open. Uh, then while this is starting up, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick walk around. We're gonna check the safety devices have not been triggered. As you can see, this one's got a green. Uh, if it was uh, uh, tripped uh, due to sweeping or something like that, uh, this would be uh, recessed. So all you have to do to re-trigger is just pull it out, and that's done. We'll check this side. We'll also check the other side. And we will also check the stop here. Make sure that is up. This is a press down stop, and then you have to twist it clockwise to, to reset it, okay? Right now, everything's powered up. Uh, the computer has been uh, brought up. Uh, the server is connected. We're gonna just gonna close this window real quick here. And we're gonna walk back over the machine. So right now, a couple things I wanna point out is we have all red dots on our handheld. Um, that means that the machine has not been zeroed. It doesn't know where it's at. So we have to be able to do that. We also have a PLC alarm. Uh, we can see what that alarm is by uh, from the home screen, which is this screen right here. We're gonna open up uh, to the next set. We're gonna look at uh, uh, alarms. We'll click on alarms and it's gonna say machine emergency. Uh, so right now we need to reset the machine. Um, I'm gonna go back to the home screen real quick. So what we need to do is reset the machine first before we can uh, zero it. So we're gonna come over here to the red panel. This is power off, this is the reset button, this is the power button. We're gonna press the reset to start, power button, reset. This is a common thing that has to be done uh, if something gets triggered, uh, alarm gets triggered or uh, we're starting over or whatever, but this is very common. You'll hear me say reset, power, reset. Uh, that's what we do uh, to reset the machine, okay? We'll go back to our handheld and see if we were able to clear our alarm. And it looks like we have, so it's gone. So now next step is to reference the machine. Uh, brief overview here. Uh, along this side we have uh, uh, the files, number of files that are currently in the hand unit. That doesn't really matter to us right now. Uh, it shows what co current tool is actually in the spindle, which is tool number three. Um, and then the most important thing is mode, uh, this mode right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this mode. Um, and there's four basic modes. Uh, uh, we have reference mode, jog mode, MDI mode, and auto. Uh, the most common ones we'll be using is reference and auto. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put this in reference mode. And from there, we'll press the cycle start button, the S button. And we'll notice that the machine starts to move. It moves very slowly because it's in like a protected kind of mode. But right now what it's doing is it is trying to determine where it's zero, zero, zero is at. So it's slowly finding that right now. Uh, very important before we start the machine that we make sure that our yellow line, there is nothing in the way. If there's anything on the spoil board, it's sitting on the spoil board. Uh, it's not hanging out over the edge where it could impact something. We want to make sure that everything, all materials, are sitting on the spoil board before we initiate any movements on the machine. Uh, we'll come back here. As this zeroed out, we'll notice that all of our lights have turned green. The machine now knows where it is at. Um, so it's ready to go. Uh, we're in reference mode right now. So we're going to go ahead and just turn this into auto mode. Right now we're ready to accept a file and we'll do that on the next video.